Behind these curtains is a surprise that none of the guests know about. And that guy, his name is Pichai Nurithapan, and he is Thailand's Minister of Commerce. What exactly is the Thai government doing here in America? Why are we planning a party with 200 plus guests? And what is a surprise for everybody at the end? You're about to find out. We're setting up the events and we have two hours. I'm 30% done with my task. Oh my gosh, uh, we tried to get in earlier, but uh, you know, they're fighting back and forward. Uh, what time you can get in and what time you can get out uh, until uh, we show them how much we want to put in this place. And then they say like, okay, you can get in earlier. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> bye. Hopefully everything ready by four. Over here, we are trying to figure out the best way to reveal the surprise behind the curtains. Oh, uh, what we can do is cut the sling, boom, done and then we have two people inside, grab. And over here, the team's preparing all the delicious food to serve for tonight's event. What's this? Vegetarian samosa. What's that? The cilantro with the onion. Oh. <laughs> this was speed for MC tonight. It's a drum not in part of Thailand. We use it to celebrate a big event. <laughs> This interview. This is always a video. Farmhouse is putting on a lovely, yeah, lovely event. Yeah. 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 I, I hear this. The biggest challenge while setting up the event today. Um, nothing. Then this a thousand times. Yep. Same, same, but new friends. Meanwhile, all the vendors have finished setting up. The event has officially begun and the guests are starting to arrive. Good evening everyone! Welcome to the Sawati Thai Select Festival 2024! Get ready to indulge in a culinary adventure as we introduce you to some of the finest Thai restaurants that have earned the prestigious Thai Select certifications. Let's whet our appetite with a special treat. We're honored to have two talented Thai chefs join us tonight to create exclusive dishes just for this event. Yeah, this is the rice salad from southern of Thailand. It's like a tradition that we can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In Thailand, they call budu. It's from southern of Thailand. Most of southern Thai cuisine, they're growing things on the garden. When I was young, everything is on the garden except shrimp. I have coconut tree, I have lemon tree, and then the rice, you can use brown rice or regular white rice. And, but um, make sure you have lemon glass, slight thin. Slight thin, okay. Very sure. thin. Yes, chef. Otherwise, you're gonna choke. All right. So, um, for the key ingredient is to make a really crunchy, refreshing, and uh, you know, a little bit salty and umami for the taste. And um, you know, I saw like um, the Thai mole in front of you, what should we do with it? You can do the dry shrimp here. Oh! Yeah, like not too much, put like little by little. Oh, I see. Ooh. I'm gonna toss the coconut. The coconut. Oh, uh, uh, this is kalanga flower. Yes, I think yeah. this is really fun. Yeah, that's it. Because they they already salty. You don't need that. Much. I can smell far, far from here. Very delicious. Look at that rice. Oh my goodness. If you can eat spicy, you can put dry Thai chili or fresh chili. Oh yeah. So delicious. And uh, this is the moment. I'm gonna take a taste. Mm -hmm. My God. <laughs> now that everyone got a taste of the appetizer. It is time for the feast. The food vendors from today is not just any vendor. They are award-winning Thai restaurants that have been chosen for the Thai Select Award. This award is such a big deal that the Thai government flew all the way here to present it themselves. 
So my question for you is, how does the festival today benefit the community in LA? You know, community can enjoy good food, know where to have a really authentic Thai food, mm -hmm. and also they create economy for Thai, because people can can buy food, can buy things. Yeah, that's that's how it is. That's what I think. Amazing. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Today we are honored to recognize exceptional Thai restaurants that have earned Thai Select Certificate. So what exactly is a Thai Select Award? Think of it as like a Michelin star, but Thai version. Having a Thai Select Award means that the restaurant is authentically Thai. Spicy, fun, flavorful. The Thai Select Award lets people know that the restaurant serves real Thai food. And today, our guests will get to taste all the food from all the winners. All prawn and chili jam. I don't know exactly how to eat this. I think I'm just gonna go for the whole thing right here. This is a one mouthful kind of thing. Mm, crazy amounts of textures in there. This thing is loaded with flavor. It is an absolute taste bud explosion. This is a pork belly. This is pork belly from, from Love to, to Eat. Yeah, that looks good. It's really good. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's very good. We got the Hainanese chicken rice. That's the best person to go to events with. We have a cow soy. I already had one, but this is my second bowl right now. The soup is divine. Noodles are great. That's amazing. Just when you think this festival couldn't get any better, there is still one final surprise. What you are seeing here is called a soup hanahong. It is a royal barge that the Thailand's royal family historically used for transportation. Now, it is taken out every few years for the royal barge procession ceremony. Everything you see in this video, from the decoration, to performances, to all the delicious food, are just a glimpse into the rich culture of Thailand. We are so happy for this opportunity to come together as a family to share our beautiful culture to the world. And this is only the beginning. Ooh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And we'll see you at the next event.